Channel 3, early warning weather. We're at a fairly dry stretch of weather now underway across the state that also features a warming trend. More on that in just a moment, but we do have an update for you on the drought monitor showing those shades of yellow no longer here in Connecticut. So we've made our way out of the abnormally dry classification. So certainly some good news there. Here is a look at the recent data for May so far as we're just, uh, you know, this takes into account through yesterday. So 12 days in a surplus of nine tenths of an inch for the Hartford area for Bridgeport, seven tenths of an inch. But if we go back to the beginning of meteorological spring that's back since March 1st. You can see we do have deficits around an inch and a half for Hartford an inch and a quarter for Bridgeport. So of course we could use a little bit more rain and on early warning pinpoint Doppler, maybe a sprinkle or two this afternoon, but that is basically it. We already have temperatures here in the noon hour in the mid to upper 60s up and down 91, even low 60s northwest of northeast Connecticut 61 62 right now along the 95 corridor along the shoreline. Notice how the wind is switched to more of an onshore direction, so that's going to keep coastal communities today cooler than inland areas a change from the last couple of days. Here's our view from New Haven 61 as we look down onto the green in the Elm City. Uh, you can see the cloud cover building looking live from Waterbury and basically what you see right now is like we've seen over the past couple of days sun and clouds through the afternoon and uh, those clouds will be diminishing as we head toward and after sunset. So there's our view from New London 62 right now and our view from Hartford looking toward the southeast over the top of the Travelers Tower there 68 degrees. So if you're heading to Hartford later today for the yard goats as they take on the Portland Sea Dogs. We've got 64 for the first pitch, upper 50s as we head toward the end of the game by the ninth inning. So, uh, you know, not bad at all. And certainly the wind, not a factor today like it has been the past few days. And you can see in the last couple frames of this animation how the clouds are building here across southern New England. Maybe a sprinkle, but nothing more than that this afternoon. High pressure, high pressure basically in control for now, as I'm trying to say. So, future cast as we head through the afternoon, other than a spotty sprinkle, we'll see sun and clouds. Those clouds dissipate after sunset tomorrow. Sunshine to start and much like the past couple of days and this afternoon, we'll see clouds build maybe a late day shower as we close out the week tomorrow. So for the upcoming weekend, temperatures continue the warming trend. So 74 tomorrow, mid 70s for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday looks primarily dry again, just an outside chance for an isolated shower. If we're going to see a better chance for shower, I think it would come on Sunday, but that's still a fairly slim chance. So no need to change any outdoor activities. Morning lows still between 45 and 50. And if this weekend isn't warm, Warm enough for you. We've got uh, 79 on the seven day for Tuesday and even low 80s by Wednesday of next week with that continuation of dry weather for shoreline highs this weekend near 70 Saturday, upper 60s for Sunday.